Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today it's all about my beauty empties for the last probably four months. Why four months you ask? I am moving and so I knew I was moving and in the timing normally I finish in June and then show you my empties in June, but I'm like, I'm moving in July, let's just hold on to it so I'm not holding on to my garbage while I'm moving <laughs> until I make a video at the end of September. So anyway, that's why we're gonna do all my empties for about four months worth. I have nothing on my lips. I'm au naturel today, but I will link down below the color of the nail polish I am wearing on my nails today. We're gonna jump right on into it and we're gonna start with hand soaps. I actually have eight hand soaps to share with you guys for empties. So let's go right into them. They are all from Bath & Body Works. They are all the gentle foaming hand soap. That's my preference. I know some people don't enjoy that one. This one here is Once Upon a Lime, described as sweet lime, lemon zest, and sugar cane. And this was delicious and delightful, loved it. The next one I have is Strawberry Kiwi. Another beautiful scent is described as strawberry, sweet apple, and tart kiwi, gorgeous. I decided to use a Halloween soap because again, I was just like, I'm not gonna buy new soaps only to have to sh like move them across country so I was like I'm gonna try this one it sounds really good so vampire blood which is described as red berries night blooming jasmine and petrifying plum one of my favorites vanilla coconut staple in this house every summer I really enjoy this one it's simply just whipped vanilla peach blossoms and warm coconut gorgeous for more <laughs> so this one here we have pomegranate lemonade not my favorite I don't like pomegranate in ha like the scent smells but I did use this one it was okay juicy pomegranate zest lemons and sugar crystals is this one here when I see the label for this I'm like it's shark wax but it's not wax it's hand soap but this one is so fantastic which I saved for Nelson because Nelson loves shark wax if you don't already know this one is described as golden apricot nectar blue orchid petals and coral sands gorgeous two last soaps to share pineapple mango go perfect combination i love pineapple by the way this is described as fresh pineapple juice mango vined ripened raspberry yum and fresh coconut and cotton one of my top favorites i really did enjoy this one a lot and i do have a backup of this to come back over to the west coast with us if it comes out again i would definitely pick it up i would highly suggest it if you like a coconut and fresh fresh coconut lovely notes of coconut coastal breeze and beachside cotton we empty two of these and we get this size at costco there's only a couple cents and this one is in the scent lush so with these are the really big 1.06 kg sizes we do love it i don't add it to any activewear because activewear i wash cold and i feel these beads need at least a warm if not hot uh, cycle in order for them to completely melt. I made that mistake and I saw some little bits on my clothes. I'm like, uh -uh, I'm not going to do that again. Found that that would be the problem. So I use these for every other inch of clothing as well as bedding and towels. Then we have counter cleaner. So I actually just finished this method daily granite. We don't have granite, but it was what was there on the shelf. So I'm like, it smelled good. This is cleans and polishes this apple orchard. This is just a counter spray I would use after we finished doing like say dinner. I just what give the counters and stove tops and everything just a really nice wipe down the other one i have here by method is for wood uh wood for good daily clean cleans and dusts i just used it the same way again i don't really care it did what it needed to do love this one as well it says it smelled like almond it really did it sort of smell like a cherry almond if you know what i mean yeah so that was really good this one <laughs> If it comes out again at the holiday season, I am not, I don't buy a lot from Scentsy, but this I fell in love with. I would probably buy three or four of these. This is the counter cleaner from Scentsy in the Scent Perfect Peppermint. Wow, I treated myself, I held on to this. I, uh, I was gifted this by my friend Ramona. I held on to it for like a couple of winters because I really just wanted to use this for special occasions or when I really wanted to be luxurious because the smell of peppermint is so good. I love this one. I know it's not cheap, but it's something that if it comes back out this next holiday season I would definitely buy three or four of these ones because it's just so lovely and I just held on to it as long as I possibly could. Up next we're going to talk about some shower gels I've completed in the last few months. Now the very first one is an oldie but a goodie and this one still lasted very well. Now if you're an OG to Bath & Body Works you guys would know this has been around for quite a few years. Finally got into this now we'll talk about the lotion portion of this one in in the future here in this video but this one smells so amazing so so delicious 
Oh, I would buy this one again and again. This is gorgeous, but I was just trying to get through some of my stuff. I have a lot of stash that I am getting down. I am dwindling down my shower gel collection, which is good. So that means I can buy more later. So this one is in the Sweet Tropical Vanilla. This one came out probably four years ago, maybe even longer, I'm not sure. Very, very nice. Then I have one small little travel size from the body shop in British Rose. Now Rose is not my favorite scent to smell like in the shower, but it is a sweeter rose, a very dewy, young, dewy rose. Like I just really think of like, it just rained outside in the, in the rose garden and you gone to sniff this rose and it's just beautiful. It was lovely, but I mean, I did use it all up. It did its job. I don't think I would purchase the rose scent, the British rose scent, but this came in my calendar, my advent calendar that I did purchase. I'll remember to link that above as well. Lastly, I have two little shower gels here that are emptied from Lush. You guys know I love my Lush. Now, I haven't purchased a lot of Lush. You probably noticed I haven't done a lot of purchasing. Again, we're moving. So that's why my <laughs> stash is also dwindled. I have sleepy and I have rose jam. Now I just finished telling you guys how much I don't really enjoy rose scents. Rose jam has my heart. This is a exactly how it sounded. It's it's a rose jam. It's like a Turkish rose candy. I love it. Um, it used to just be a seasonal product they used to bring back in the winter but a few years back they made this one permanent. Highly recommend. As you guys know I'm not a floral lover in many things. This however 100% recommend to any of you non-floral lovers. And lastly we have sleepy. Sleepy you guys know I love this one. I will always continue to get it. I have a tiny little bit of the sleepy lotion left. I'll purchase more of course but I do love this one for bath time at night before bed. A shower in the evening. This is very very lovely. It's a lot of lavender but it's a sweet marshmallow -y lavender and I like to pair the shower gel up either as a bubble bath or as an evening shower with the sleepy lotion afterwards and Ariana Grande's cloud as a perfume to wear to bed. You put those three together it's magical sleep at least in my mind and I am a light sleeper and I don't sleep well on a good day. These definitely help me psychosomatic or not but I do swear by it. Next up is a body conditioner from Lush. Now what is a body conditioner? It comes in little tubs or big tubs. This one happens to be a snow fairy a very sweet Christmas scent that they bring out every year. Now their body conditioner what they suggest you to do is step out of the shower area and they're and as you're having your shower and then slather this on and then wait a minute and then go back into the shower and rinse it off. I however do not use it for that. I use this to shave my legs. I find it does not clog my razor. I feel like it gives me beautiful moisturization after I get out of the shower. I don't need to put moisturizer on which is saying something while I'm in the shower waiting for my conditioner to do its thing. I basically put this on my legs, shave away, rinse, do the other leg and I love these. I will always continue to purchase body conditioners from many different places but this one here is empty from Lush in the Snow Fairy scent. We're going to talk about something from Zape, also body care. This is their Sugar Whip Soap and Scrub Mixture. Now I like this one but I think I like their regular scrub better because like I mentioned I already use a soap for other things but it is nice because there is a soap built into this. Sugar Whips or Sugar Scrubs which we will talk a lot about in a moment here I use on my feet. So I need a nice scrubby scrub on my feet. I love how these do bubble up. So this one is in Toes in the sand. It's a beautiful scent. It's so summery. Oh, and I think she has her summer collection out now. So again, this is from Zape and I love this. I love their wax and I love all of their body products. Another small vendor I love their scrubs from is from the bathing garden. So I do have two scrubs from the bathing garden here. This one is in Serendipity Cream Pie. This was gorgeous. Again, I only use them on my feet just to give my feet that little, like a little polish. You know, they deserve, they deserve some love. We are on them all the time. And Blackberry Fudge, absolutely stunner. You guys, I highly recommend the bathing garden for their wax melts as well as their beauty products. Now two items I didn't really enjoy because I just finished telling you guys how much I love scrubs that are scrubby and you know they actually exfoliate my bottom of my feet you know I'm on them all the time. Both of these were gifted to me by my friend Ramona. Thank you very much Ramona but unfortunately I will not be purchasing scrubs from Scentsy. This is Perfect Peppermint so in the same scent as that counter spray and winterberry apple tea, which is a gorgeous scent. I actually have this in a counter spray right now. But the problem with these ones is it was too runny. I feel that Scentsy is very much like Lush, any Lush scrubs for your for your body. They're not scrubby enough. So I feel like once I gather some into my hand, go to put it on my feet, most of it just falls between my fingers and goes into the tub. So I would want more sugar concentration than um, all the other filler products in there. I, I don't know what that would be, but I didn't enjoy these as much as I was hoping but I am very thankful for the gift 
from Ramona. I found another Snow Fairy body conditioner in a smaller size, so I actually went through quite a bit. I also have another scrub here I forgot that I had. This is a British Rose Exfoliating Gel Body Scrub from The Body Shop. Again, I received this in my advent calendar in 2021. Not my favorite, it was too runny and similar to the Scentsy, I didn't enjoy this one nearly as much because it wasn't scrubby enough in my opinion. So on from scrubs into a different scrub. This is a lip scrub just finished from Lush. This is Trick or Treat and this is really yummy. Again, Lush lip scrubs are awesome. I do keep this away from the water, but I do keep this in my shower and just put a little bit on my lips in the shower. Mm -mm, mush it around. It really does do a great job of exfoliating and also tastes really good. It is really true products. It's mostly sugar and some natural flavors. So 100% recommend. It's probably like, I don't know, my eighth jar of this that I've gone through in my lifetime. It's gorgeous. Then for lips. <laughs> so I did go through a sample of, I think it's Nia 114 Technology Advanced Skin Care for Lips Hyaluronic Omega Moisture Lip Mask by Strivectin. I tried this sample and it didn't do anything more or less than my beloved Laneige that I love, the sleeping mask that I put on before bed. So I don't know the price point of this, but I, I like the smells of the different scents that they have from Laneige. So I probably wouldn't purchase this, but it was nice to try as a sample. Next up, we have everything about my face. Now you'll be seeing why, why is there so much left here? I don't like this. I know it's so popular. This is Purity Made Simple by Philosophy. This is a face wash. I don't enjoy this one. In fact, it's the smell I think that I, it, totally turns me off. Had this for quite some time, as you guys can see, it's like halfway gone. It's a three in one cleanser for face and eye. So it's supposed to take off makeup as well. I am now wishing it farewell because it's been sitting in my collection now for a couple of years. I don't think I've even picked this up in the whole time I've been in Halifax for three years. Some Kate Somerville items that I have gone through, I've repurchased. Um, I'll have to repurchase again. <laughs> this is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser Daily Foaming Wash. Love this one. I like picking these up during the Sephora VIB sales twice a year. Sometimes they'll throw in like a 20% off throughout the year, just willy nilly. Um, I like to stock up. I use, I switch between my cleansers. So I do actually find that I go through the, this only every six months or so because I am going through two different cleansers at a time. Then the other item is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. So this is what I would use in my shower probably two times a week. I love the smell of this. It's green and you just sort of, leave, you kind of massage it into your face for 30 seconds and you rinse it off. Super easy. And it just keeps the little bumps like I definitely need to exfoliate. And it's not super harsh either. But I do find a difference when I use this and I really do enjoy this one and both of these have been repurchases time and time again and will continue to be. On to a product that I tried and I purchased over the Sephora VIB sale. This is the Juice Booty. This is the Juice Beauty, the Organic Solution Stem Cellular Lifting Neck Cream. And I wouldn't buy this again. I liked it but I didn't see the results that I was really hoping. So 44 years old I'm also, I know this is a weird segment but I sleep on my side and when I sleep on my side when I wake up I find that I have a lot of wrinkles towards the cleavage area so I was really hoping that that would you know put that here lift it up you know by moisturizing it in every day from like here to the you know up here that it would just sort of help moisturize and make, like make it a little more smooth it didn't really do that so for what I wanted it to do it didn't do what I wanted to do so what I would probably strongly suggest is if you are already using moisturizer in your skincare routine just put it on from here and up your neck and then your face. Um, you might go through it a little bit faster, but I mean, I probably didn't need this. To something I already have a backup and it's almost empty and I'm gonna be buying more <laughs> of I Have Oily Skin. This particular version of the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm is what I use for moisturizer. I say that because I have oily skin and I feel like the Aqua Balm, like the more almost gel-like consistency is better for my skin type, but they do have other versions of this for if you have dry skin. Belief's a really good brand. Found at Sephora. I'm sure you can find it in other places as well. Again, I only purchase this when it goes on sale. It is a little pricier. It's not a drugstore price, but it's also not the most expensive at Sephora either. Really do enjoy this one. And something that is not new to this channel. This is Physicians Formula Rose All Day Oil Free Serum. It brightens and tightens and I love it. And I know it says rose and it does smell like rose, but it's a beautiful dewy rose and I will take it. And I just love this stuff. I only purchase this at Walmart or Chopper's Drug Mart here in Canada when it's on sale because they, they, they know that people love this and they jack the price up. So sometimes I can get it for $17, I think Canadian. And when I see them at that price, I get two because it doesn't go on sale often enough. So when I do 
find on sale, I get lots. And I will, I have one already in my backup we're using right now. So something I actually used for a spray just after I put powder on my face, I've finished my makeup, I've already curled my eyelashes just to sort of set that powder down is my last one of these Tahitian Clay Sunset Face Mist in Manoi Oil and Sea Holly. Instantly refreshes, hydrates, and soothes skin. It was the smell that did me in, oh. I'm going to miss that. I found this at Winners. I found a few jars of these because it is glass for $7.99 at Winners before I moved here into Halifax, Nova Scotia. So I have gone through, I think three of these now in the time I've been here and I love it. And in the summertime, if you're going to go on a road trip and you have a cooler in your car, put this in the cooler, spray your face down when it's hot out. It is mm, so good. If I found this at Winners, I always look, I never do see it here. But if I go back home to the West Coast and see it again, I will definitely be buying a lot of these. Next up, we have some hand lotions here. We have one from the, the Body Shop and one from Bath & Body Works. I like one more than the other. So this one here is from Bath & Body Works and the Strawberry Pound Cake. This is just the hand cream here. This is our standard size. There's this one and then this one over here in Love & Plums from the Body Shop. Choosing between the two, the Body Shop wins over Bath & Body Works. The price points are good and all that stuff. I always get these when they're on sale. I think I got this one in the advent calendar this year. Here's the thing. I find that this sort of does not soak in nearly as quickly as it should. And this stuff here from the Body Shop, I feel like it just soaks into my hand really quickly and I can start doing things right away and not smearing my phone screen or something. Um, so I do find that the Body Shop is far superior at um, absorption <laughs> into your skin than the Bath & Body Works. But I, both, I love both of these scents very much. Couple things for your hair. This is like basically what Nelson went through. This is the, uh, was it Mark Anthony's True Professional Coconut Oil and Shea Butter Shampoo. I don't use this because I have other stuff, but uh, but he likes it and it's found at Costco, so it's good, good. Then we also have a conditioner. So when I was between, I always go through my conditioners before I get through my shampoos. Who else is with me? Who else is like that? Needed to go grab a conditioner at the drugstore. So Thickening Ritual from Dove in the conditioner for fine, flat hair. It's okay. I just find most drugstore, um, products on my really fine thin hair. It doesn't matter what it says on the container. It weighs it down. I don't use a lot. I get massive tangles um, because my hair is so fine, but I also feel that I can't use that much conditioner because it also weighs my hair down even after I've rinsed it out. So I haven't found anything. If you guys, again, if you have fine thin hair and you guys feel the same way as I do about a lot of drug, drugstore conditioners, but you found one that works, let me know. I would, I would love to purchase a drugstore conditioner over one from Sephora. This is the conditioner that I went through that I had to get that other conditioner because I went through this super fast. This is from Way in their fine hair conditioner. So I really did like this one. I felt like it was a little bit heavy. There was times where I felt this was a bit heavy. I still haven't found that perfect conditioner because as soon as I do, I will not go back to anything else. I still have the shampoo has got a teeny, teeny tiny thing left in it. So I don't think I'm going to keep it for the next empties because I'm not traveling with all that stuff. <laughs> but anyway, I do like the Way conditioner, but I'm still on the hunt for the best conditioner for my hair. Next up is a travel size. This is Pantene's hairspray. I just got this in the little travel section at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. Again, I love the little travel sizes for when you're traveling and this just does the trick. Perfect size, fits in your bag. I love it and you can travel with it because it's teeny tiny. So I like it. For my teeth, I have the Oral-B Glide Floss, which I need because my teeth are so close together. I need that little extra glide to help it wiggle up. So I've gone, I go through these quite often. I think I'm actually almost finished another one. For my teeth, I go through Crest White. Uh, this is the whatever, whatever this is, but it's Arctic Rush, I think it is. Oh, Arctic Fresh. So this is what I use on my teeth. What Nelson has gone through and what he uses on his teeth is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel. He has more sensitive teeth than I have. So that's what he uses. I went through a foot mask and a face mask. The foot mask is from the Life brand in the moisturizing shea butter and coconut oil. I actually really like these. I, might, I have another pack. I might actually do this other pack tonight. My feet are so dry. It doesn't matter what I do. I put oil on my feet and put slipper socks on. It doesn't matter. My feet are, the soles of my feet are so dry. Hence why I use lots of sugar scrubs. This one here is a face mask. This is definitely a treat. This is from Tatcha the Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. Gorgeous. I love this one. You can definitely tell when you purchase a higher end mask versus a lower end mask or mask that you find at a discount. I feel that these fit my face really well. They don't fall forward. I can be doing things and they don't fall 
falling off. Plus, it's just gorgeous. And any extra yummy essence, just put that in your hand and you can put that on your body too because I mean, it just absorbs into your skin. That's what the mask is supposed to do. So yum. And I would definitely pick this one up again. Makeup remover wipes. Don't have any more. This was the last of it. This was the Clinique Take the Day Off. A micellar cleansing towelettes for face and eyes. I didn't find these ones. My favorite ones are the Neutrogena. I'm trying not to purchase these ones uh, anymore because I know that they're not great for the environment. I'm just trying to use the cleansing balms and things like that. I mean, they did the trick, but I felt like it, the good ones were towards the middle and the, the bottom because they were more, they had more of the essence on it to take off the makeup. There are definitely lots of dry patches in these. So for the price, I probably wouldn't purchase these again. Makeup. Okay, so we have a few things. I finally gave up on this particular powder. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in Natural Beige. And I know it shows that I have a lot there, but it was really, my brush really wasn't picking up much around the corners anymore. I've been working at it, working at it. So I ended up just saying that's it, that's enough. So I really love the Wet n Wild. They're like five bucks in Canada. Fabulous powder. It's really, really nice. 100% recommend. I've gone through a Lash Paradise. I believe the one I'm currently using is probably ready to go as well, but I'm not going to get rid of it until just before we move. So this isn't the Lash Paradise, the volum voluminous Lash Paradise. I always get this one in the very black color. So great and has been a repurchase after repurchase. I am out of the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. I, this one's in color light. I do have some of the uh, brightener ones because I started seeing those more in store and Ramona was able to get me some before she moved. Now I need to get the light one. So I do use two different color of concealers when I do makeup. I need to find another one. This is a sample of the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and this was okay. I just don't, I know a lot of people just rave about this and I don't know I thought it was okay I don't know if I would spend the amount of money that it costs for a full size I know they have a travel size as well bang for your buck you're probably better to get the, the full size if you're going to use it a lot don't know nothing has been able to really minimize my pores that well because I do have a lot of pores in my t-zone so that's kind of what I was hoping but anyway I mean I know lots of people love it but I don't know if I go out and spend the money on this one and one of my favorite powders guys this is Makeup Forever's Professional Paris Matte Velvet Skin Powder this is a blur blurring powder foundation and I have an R230. I love it for lots of reasons. It has a built-in mirror. Don't want to blind you. As you guys can see, I have used up almost as much as I could. They also have this powder poof. So it has a dark side and a light side to it. Now, originally it was white. So if you want more coverage, you use the dark side. If you want less coverage, or just like a tap, 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 you use this side. I love this. I brought it on set with me many times when I was a background uh, worker. Just bring that in between takes. It was easy to slide into like a purse if I was wearing one and dab my nose because um, my nose, I get very oily here. So just, it's also so good for just everyday use. 100% recommend. This is my absolute favorite powder. We're almost done guys. Now let's talk some back the body works. Now talk about the forever beach days here. Again, this is a, something that I've had for four or five years and it's about down to here where my thumb is. Nelson was using it for hand lotion, but it's really, really thin now. And I feel like it's kind of gone off. I can smell it. This particular lotion isn't bad. It does last quite a long time. Like I said, I've had this one for like five years, forever beach days. Yeah, it's been at least five years. This one lasts longer. This is the sh the body lotion, just the straight up body lotion. So we are saying goodbye to this one because I've had it for a while and it's starting to smell a little off. On the other hand, we have another lotion, but this is the body cream. These ones don't last very long at all. It did match the shower gel that I spoke about at the beginning of this video. Sweet tropical vanilla, but these ultra shea or these this style of lotion does not last very long on your shelf. It does not smell very good anymore. Whereas the shower gel was which was purchased the same time and I can feel the difference. I can feel it's super liquidy, like it's time to go. <laughs> but also the smell is off. That's your first indicator. The shower gel lasts a long time. The regular lotion lasts a long time. This, however, does not last very long. I have one more of these, which I'm saving for after we move. Thank you to Ramona. This is the Fine Fragrance Mist from the Bath and Body Works in the scent Birch and Argon. Now they have not brought this back as far as I'm aware in a few years now. Mm. It's a fabulous scent. Um, all it says is birch, argon, and vanilla. But this smell, the combo for this, this is a like a fragrance mist, but I used it as pillow spray or bed spray for our bed. So I would just, oh, I, I have one more of these left and I'm holding on to it because it is so good, you guys. I really wish Bath & Body Works would bring this one back. I cannot describe it except that it's, oh, mm, it's so good. <laughs> so Bath & Body Works, bring this back, please. 
Last but not least, I have some sunscreen. I have one sunscreen for your face and one for your body. Neither of these are empty, but if you look at the expiry dates on them, one expired in 2020 and the other one expired in March, 2021. I'm just gonna stress this from someone who has family history of melanoma, which is skin cancer. Follow the ex expiration because these are well past their due. I like to use face lotion on my face differently than body lotion because for my face, I tend to break out with regular sunscreen. This is from La Roche Posay, um, lotion of uh, the ultra fluid lotion SPF 60. I use a high SPF on my face because again, like I said, we have skin cancer in my family. Umbrella 45 on my body. But again, after a while, if the expirations are sort of stamped on the bottles here, I just don't use them past their expiration because I don't want to chance or risk it. I already got burnt on my shoulders this weekend, but I did wear sunscreen and um, you know, just being outside. So check your expiration dates on your sunscreen and make sure you guys can get proper stuff. But I do, not use regular sunscreen for my body on my face i do purchase a facial sunscreen and a higher um spf as well all right you guys that is everything if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and as always you guys be safe take care and have fun bye guys